Hello. In this course, we're going to see uh, a part of the uh, fixed income market, which are the inflationing products. The inflationing products cover not only inflationing bonds, but also uh, inflation derivatives. To illustrate uh, this market, I'd like to start with uh, these charts. This chart is interesting because it shows you both the sharp increase in the stock of inflationing bonds, inflationing bonds being the main products in the inflation markets, which reach today a 2.5 trillion of inflationing bonds with most of the countries, developed countries and emerging countries issuing inflationing bonds. So it's not a small, it's quite a big market. And at the same time, looking at uh, this decrease in the worldwide inflations until the 2000s. So it may sound like a paradox why the inflation in products have been developing on the back of a more stable inflations. In fact, the development of the inflation market has been developing on the back of the pension funds and on the pension assets in general worldwide. So that's why this market has been active and continued to develop. So for this course, we're going to cover uh, some basic topics, like for example, uh, forecasting inflation, we're going to review the macroeconomic models, uh, and uh, we're going to uh, review the basics of the inflation products, which is called the Fisher equations. Then we're going to move into the inflation in bonds, all the mechanisms of the inflation in bonds, how the cash flows are calculated, and finally, we're going to see how to analyze inflation in bonds via uh, their behavior, their connection or disconnections with nominal bonds, linkers and conventionals, and the disconnection between the linkers and conventionals, which are, for example, due to the carry. So we're going to go into such details to get a good and deep understanding of the inflation in bonds. Then we're going to move into the second main developments of the inflation market, which are the inflation swaps. So we're going to see here how the inflation swap have been developing to hedge some specific liabilities of the pension funds. I will go back to the pension funds to show where the inflation is embedded within the pension funds and what are the risks for the pension funds. And to detail the structure of the main product on the derivative side, which are the zero coupon inflation swaps. Then we're going to see what have been the impact on the modeling of inflation in products. We're going to see uh, the different models and focus mainly on the jar yield rate models. And then finally, yeah, look at the connection between the bonds, inflation in bonds, and the swaps via the asset swaps. Then in the last part, we're going to focus on more complex products, uh, which have been developing uh, on the back of the retail investors, called the structure nodes, particularly the, what we call the year-on-year -year structures. We're going to see also some more complex products which have been developing on the back of the LDI demand, and the latest developments, which is mainly developments of the option market via the zero coupon inflation option, inflation options and the year-on-year -year inflation options. And we'll finish with uh, an example of uh, calibrations of uh, an option pricers. We'll just give uh, the basics. And to look at historical volatility versus implied volatility to see potential arbitrage there. Thank you.